What's up guys, it's Cameron here, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. So you guys, today I'm going to be showing you my at-home pamper routine. I know I just did like a self-care routine, but there was a lot of things that I didn't really do in that like self-care routine because my self-care routine was more of like a casual thing, a routine that I try to do at least once a week, like a long shower, self-tan, exfoliate, face mask, you know just like the simple stuff but my pamper routine is more of like my at-home spa routine which is much more in depth like I'm gonna be taking a bath today I'm gonna be doing like my face steamer all that stuff so this is like a much more in-depth version I consider my self-care routine and my pamper routine two totally different things I'm super excited about today's video because I'm actually going to be doing a peach scented like shower and bath routine and I'm super super excited to be using products from Unoya Glow if you guys don't know what Unoya Glow is is Deanna. She is a TikToker and she also has a YouTube channel. She has a company called Unoya Glow. She's actually one of my friends. She is the sweetest person ever and she's literally only 16 years old running this business herself. Like she's doing amazing things. Her products are absolutely amazing and they're all super clean, cruelty free, all that good stuff you guys. Like her products are the real deal um, and I'm super excited to kind of just be showing you guys her products, how they work and all that stuff. You guys can obviously go check out her website to get like more scents and more products besides the stuff that I'm just showing you guys in the video today and of course all the information will be in the description down below including my discount code that you guys can use to get some money off of your order so go to the description for all of that information and thank you so much Deanna for sending me these products you are amazing girl I'm looking crazy you guys I had a long day of class today it is a Tuesday like today has been a long day like my hair is a mess my hair is actually clean but I threw it up in a bun I actually cleaned it last night so we're not gonna be cleaning my hair in the shower today um we're just gonna be doing like some body care and some relaxing in the bath I'm super excited for a little peach scented routine and some skin skincare and some pampering and all of that so without further ado let's get on into it I'm gonna start off in the bath and then I'm gonna go into the shower afterwards okay so I'm starting off by taking a bath I do not take baths that often but they are so relaxing and I really need to start taking them more I am using my dr. Bronner's baby Castile soap for like a bubble bath just because I don't like to use like strong scented bubble baths and then for some Epsom salt I'm using the tree hut tropical mango one even though this is a peach routine, it's the only thing I had that was close enough. I then turned on my skylight projector and my LED lights and lit my peach bellini candle from Bath & Body Works just to like set the mood right. After a few minutes, I ended up putting a shower cap on because when I tried to lay down, my hair got all wet and I wasn't trying to have that happen, so don't mind the shower cap. I don't look the cutest with it on, but we're just going to ignore that. For my base clean, I'm going in with this Caress Bar Soap. This one, I believe, is like the peach blossom one and it is so good. So I'm using this loofah pad to clean my skin. This is from Unoya Glow as well. Guys, I am obsessed with with this right now it is my favorite thing to use to clean my body it is super safe for the environment because it's actually made from the loofah plant rather than like plastic like a regular loofah would be and it also doesn't collect as much bacteria it gives a beautiful lather and also exfoliates the skin after that I'm going in with an exfoliator this is the sweet as a peach foaming body scrub from Unoya glow first of all this smells amazing and this body scrub is just insane like nothing I've ever tried before um, Deanna actually told me herself that her goal was to make a body scrub that matched somewhere in between a tree hut body scrub and a dove exfoliating body scrub or body polish and I personally think that she did an amazing job at that. This is exactly what that is. It's not too harsh but it's also not too subtle but it also foams up. It's such a nice body scrub to use. It feels amazing and it also smells amazing. I'm doing some foot care in the bath, so I'm just using this little like cheese grater thing on my feet. I call it that. I don't know what it's actually called, like a foot file maybe. And then I'm using this pumice stone and I'm just, you know, treating my feet. I hadn't gotten a pedicure in a few weeks. So after that, I drained the bath and I'm turning on the shower and I'm going in with my Pretty as a Peach moisturizing body wash from Bath & Body Works for my second wash. And I'm using Unoy Glow's exfoliating loofah pad again. And you guys see this lather like oh my god i'm obsessed and my whole bathroom literally smelled like peaches so it was amazing so did my skin of course so 
I'm just cleaning my skin. I am using a back brush to just reach all the spots on my back that I couldn't get. And now for my feet, I'm giving them a ton of love. I'm just scrubbing them super well and using this nail brush to clean my toenails. And then I'm just rinsing off all of that body wash. And now I'm using my Dove antibacterial body wash just to wash my hands in the shower before I exfoliate and clean the downstairs area. For the downstairs area, I'm going to be exfoliating with the Unoya Glow Unscented Foaming Body Scrub. I am obsessed with this. It works amazing and I just love it so much. And to clean the downstairs area, I'm using my Dove Sensitive Skin Soap Bar, Bar Soap, and my Bamboo Baby Washcloth. Okay guys, let me take this shower cap off because it's not cute. Obviously, I had to put it on midway through my bath because my hair was getting soaked and I just was not having it. Okay, you guys, I have this like um, Velcro towel thing on. It's kind of cool. Um, it was a little weird to dry myself off with because it's not like a normal towel feeling. It feels more like a robe, so I wish I would have used a regular towel first, but whatever. It's not a big deal. All right, let's put on my like spa headband. We're going to put this fluffy one on. So I actually didn't wash my face in the shower, so I'm going to wash my face right now. For my face cleanser, I'm using the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. This has been my cleanser for like a while. <laughs> Guys, I glued this nail back on before this video and it's like coming off not working out in my favor my hair does not look cute i'm a little tired if you can tell i don't have much energy okay you guys just went into my skincare fridge and i don't even know why i put this in my skincare fridge because it's not necessary to go in there but i just wanted to i'm gonna be doing a lip scrub before i do any skincare just because once my products on my face i don't really like to do anything with my mouth um, i'm not brushing my teeth right now because i'm probably gonna eat a snack after this because that's like part of my pampering um so i'm just gonna do the lip scrub which i'm trying to open up my hands oh okay i got it it's gonna say my hands are slippery so this is Unoya glows watermelon wow exfoliating lip scrub this is what it looks like and i'm just going to use some on my lips i'm super excited because i haven't actually tried this yet and that's what it looks like oh i just dropped it okay well i'm just going to get a little bit more on my finger it's hard when you have nails especially because i would typically use this nail but this is a nail that's literally half off right now because i glued it on so i don't want it to break it literally tastes good oh my god it's all around right my mouth this is why we do it before the skincare, you guys. It, like, I could eat this. It literally reminds me of, like, a watermelon candy. And it's exfoliating my lips so good. This does not look cute, but is this edible? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know it's, like, allowed to be near the mouth, but I'm, like, actually eating a lot of it right now. So I put too much on my finger. I love this, though. This is really good. I just know this is going to make my lips feel so soft. Okay, I did the lip scrub. Now I'm just going to put on my Ordinary Peeling Solution. This is the AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. This I use once a week. It's supposed to be like an exfoliant treatment. I don't use like actual scrubs on my face um, just because, yeah, it's just not what I do. I'm going to wash my hands really quick though because I feel like I have like the lip scrub on my hands, but I'm just using the Bath & Body Works Peach Bellini. It like was not on purpose for that to go, for this to go with this routine. I'm actually just finishing up this soap, um, so I'm just... Washing my hands. Okay, guys, the nail's officially off. I'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow though, so we'll be okay. But just don't mind that, because it's now off my finger. And this nail has been on and off for like the past literally like week. I've just been gluing it on and like taking it back off for videos, really. Okay, I know some people just use this mask around their nose, but I personally like to use it all over my face. And with this mask, um, if you feel any burning, just take it off. It's not supposed to burn. Also, if you're using this mask, make sure you're wearing SPF during the day. Okay, and you're supposed to leave this on for about 10 minutes. Um, if it starts to like irritate you before then, you obviously can take it off. While this is on my face, I'm going to clean up really quick because the bathroom's a mess. Um, and I'll come back in like a minute. I think when I come back, I'm going to... Actually, no, I'm going to rinse my mask off and then we're going to go into my room. All right, guys, it's been about 10 minutes. So I'm going to wash this mask off really quick. 
and I am gonna be going in my room and shaving my face so I'm just gonna put some micellar water on and use the CeraVe hydrating one um, and I'm just gonna put on my face make sure like all the mask is off or solution whatever you guys want to call it um, and also just like kind of prep my face to shave it when I shave my face I know a lot of people use like aloe or use something on their face I personally just do it like with nothing and i've never had a reaction before or never had an issue with it i'm not sitting here and recommending it so please don't come and like yell at me for it because i'm not recommending doing it i just personally do it that way and i've never had an issue also i'm gonna bring my skincare products in my room because i'll probably just finish my skincare routine in there okay you guys my room is literally a disaster right now but before i shave my face or do anything special to my face i am actually just going to do a face steamer but i actually am going to go and get something out of my skincare fridge to put on like while i do the face steamer just to like relax and stuff okay so if you guys didn't already know i got a new skincare fridge this is a coolie one which i've had one from them before but it like broke down on me so i got like the bigger and better one look at this you guys it is insane and there's literally a drawer and this is where we need to get some stuff out of so i'm just gonna grab my jade roller this little like eye mask and my gua sha that's it i literally love my skincare fridge so much okay i'm turning on my steamer so pretty much while i have the steamer on i'm gonna be putting this eye mask on and this eye mask is also from Yenoya glow and i am obsessed with this i love the fact that it has like the strap to go around your head because i have so many eye masks that i can't even say that literally it's so hard to keep them on your face like that's the one thing i hate about eye masks and it makes them less relaxing but this having like the strap makes it so much more relaxing so i'm just gonna sit here with the steamer on my face and the cold eye mask on my eyes and yeah Okay, I sat like that for like a little over five minutes. I'm impatient. That's me. Like whenever I do eye masks, I get so irritated that I can't see. So if I do them, I have to like do them when I'm literally laying in bed. But that felt so good. Like having the cold compress on my eyes and then like the warm steam on my face. It just felt so good. And I love using like eye masks like this. Um, just like cold compresses on my eyes. Even if you don't have the eye mask and you want to use like spoons or I think some people just like literally will take ice sometimes too. It's just so good for your eyes like depuffing them and stuff. And and I'm obsessed and I just like I said a thousand times I love it this one has the strap I think that's the cutest thing ever so we're gonna move on to some more skincare and then I think I have some other things that I want to do I wrote stuff down also I have my peach Bellini candle burning in here too like I moved it from the bathroom to here it just smells so good like and I still smell like peach okay so I'm about to shave my face now with one of these like little razors I don't even know where I got these you can get them you can get them like literally at the dollar store I think these ones are from the dollar store I'm not gonna like tell you guys how to do this because I'm not a professional but you guys kind of watch what I do make sure you watch videos on it and just be super careful doing this because obviously it can be dangerous I honestly just do this because it lets my makeup apply so much smoother and it makes my skin look super glowy Okay, now I'm just going to use my micellar water and just clean off my face a little bit just in case there's any like hairs on it Okay, before I continue my skincare, I want to put some whitening stuff on my teeth. And with the whitening product I'm using, you can't eat for 30 minutes after putting it on. So, like, I want to eat a snack soon. So, I'm going to put it on right now. So, this is just the Crest um, Whitening Emulsions. I've been using this for a while now, and I literally love it. I swear by Crest Whitening Product. They are a little bit expensive, but so worth it. The whitening strips literally, like, permanently changed the game for me. Like, I'm, I swear by them. That's it. I do need some floss because I have something, like, a little thing between my two front teeth. That's not cute, but we'll do that later. I did actually work with crest on tiktok which was honestly like one of the biggest brand deals i've ever gotten and i was so so flattered to have that brand deal and i love it it's so convenient too i have been so inconsistent lately i have to say uh -uh. Okay, so that's done. Okay, I did want to wax my armpits in this video, but my hair has not grown out enough. It's pretty long, but it's not enough to wax, which kind of sucks. But I did want to actually try waxing my armpits for the first time with the wax kit that I reviewed on my channel, the Trust Wellness one. Um, my roommate actually has my wax kit because she used it a few weeks ago. I'm putting on the Ordinary Niacinamide thing. What is it? Niacinamide 10%, zinc 1%. You guys know I've been using this for a while. And I'm going to rub it in. Caffeine solution underneath my eyes. 
and I'm just gently like pressing that into my eyes after I rubbed it on okay now I'm going to use my jade roller and just roll my face and honestly this is supposed to like decrease puffiness and like drain your lymphatic nodes or whatever but um honestly i just do it because it feels good like it literally when i have headaches i don't know why my hand was like that when i have headaches this literally just makes me feel better like i'm obsessed with it it's so good when it's cold but guys i wanted to tell you real quick that i'm going back to waxing for like the downstairs area this might be tmi but i know i always tell you guys how much i really struggle with razor burn and razor bumps and i have realized that it is genetics like i've done a lot of research and i've tried so many products like products that i've tried products people have recommended to me um and it just really doesn't work for me and waxing has been the only solution for me over the years and it is a little expensive but i honestly would rather have like quick pain than have long-term pain after i shave because th that pain for the razor burn and razor bumps lasts for days especially in the summer when i'm wearing bathing suits because the material of the bathing suit will literally irritate it so much so i think that i'm doing myself a favor by like going back to waxing and like starting it back up a little bit before like closer to when the summer is coming I'm just gonna use my gua sha. I know that these have been like super popular on TikTok recently. Um, I've had mine for like a while now, but I don't use it that much. And I heard that it really does make a difference. So I probably should use it more. I know I'm not even doing it right. So please don't comment me in the comments, but I'm not claiming to be doing it right. I need to learn. And I, and I know that like what I'm doing probably looks so dumb and it might be making some of you cringe, but it feels good. So... And now I'm just going to moisturize because I finished all of that stuff. So we're going to use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Pear Cream, which is like my favorite ever. I didn't use toner or essence today, which I normally would just because I did the um, killing solution. So in my opinion, um, that's just like a lot of product. And the glycolic acid toner is kind of a treatment in a way. I do use it almost every night, but I don't use it on nights that I do either retinol treatment or the AHA BHA treatment because I only do retinol in it once a week and I also only do AHA and BHA once a week so but I just finished my skincare I don't even know what else I want to do I do need to clean my room like for real because it's a mess before I like really move on oh body care duh uh, before I move on to body care actually I'll probably move on to body care first and then clean my room just because i'm gonna clean it all after anyways so we're gonna go do some after shower body care now okay you guys i'm sitting on my bed and we're gonna do my after shower body care now that we did my skincare you know i always like to do my skincare first but i do need to moisturize my body because it is a little bit dry right now okay so for my after so for my after shower body care i like to moisturize of course so i'm gonna go in with another product from unoya glow this is the ginger and peach moisturizing body butter and her body butters aren't amazing you guys like i'm so sorry like i don't know what's going on out there but we're just gonna deal with it because this is a casual video y'all know the drill okay so i have it all in my hands you guys can see how like glowy and like shiny that looks like oh my god you guys it's so moisturizing and like the best part about this is you guys can tell like it looks a little bit like oily at first but it seeps into your skin so well and like makes your skin feel so smooth i've used other body butters before that have been super super oily and they've stayed oily like they don't seep into your skin your skin stays so oily but the way this like seeps into your skin oh my god you guys i am obsessed i love the glowy look but i hate feeling like super oily like that's just not a fun feeling like it just you feel gross but the way that this like literally like just i said it like five times but the way it just like seeps into your skin it feels so good and it's just amazing so i'm just putting this all over i'm also just putting the body butter on my legs you guys i tried to like point the camera so you guys can see it but it just was too much work and i was like you know what they'll get the point they don't need to see me lotion my legs to know that i actually lotioned them um but actually i don't really know because i feel like there would be some people who would be like you didn't lotion your legs like just because i didn't show it on camera we're just gonna ignore those people because i know that i'm lotioning my legs you also don't need a lot of this body butter because a little bit goes such a long way okay you guys now that i'm all moisturized we're just going to make ourselves smell nice and fresh you guys already know what i do i'm gonna put on some aluminum free deodorant this is the secret one this is actually the cucumber scent i just got it the other day and i typically don't buy a lot of scents of deodorants but i just like the idea of cucumber because it probably smells like super fresh um obviously i don't have a peach deodorant but we're just gonna go with it 
So I'm just gonna put my deodorant on. Hopefully you guys can't see my armpits because your girl needs to like shave or wax or something. So next I'm gonna go in with a fine fragrance mist. You guys already know what I do. I put on my lotion, my body care, and then I do a fine fragrance mist and then a perfume. So for the fine fragrance mist, we're gonna be using Pretty as a Peach from Bath & Body Works just like we did with the moisturizing body wash. But I am just going to start by just spraying this in my target areas. I think I just sprayed on my face behind my knees which you guys can't see and then I'm just gonna drench myself and I'm also gonna drench myself again when I have clothes on and even though I'm gonna be going to sleep soon I want to go in with the perfume just for the sake of the video so I'm gonna be using the fruity jasmine perfume from dossier and the reason I'm using this is because it does have a peach note in it so I'm just going to use this on my skin and you guys know I love dossier I'm gonna be having some more videos upcoming with them just to show you guys a bunch of different scents from them and like I said you guys like I literally work with brands that I love and I'm obsessed with dossier's products like I literally love them um, um, so yeah, and this just smells super, super good. So you guys, I'm going to go and put on some comfy clothes because I think me and my boyfriend are actually going to get some ice cream, which of course I have to leave the house after I get do a pamper routine, but like eating something I enjoy is like kind of pampering, I guess. Even though ice cream is not good for you, ice cream makes me happy and my pamper routines are supposed to make me happy. So why not eat ice cream for a pamper routine? So I'm going to go put some clothes on and then probably spray some more fragrance mist and perfume okay you guys i just put on some comfortable clothes because we're gonna run and get ice cream and i'm just gonna spray myself again with my fragrance mist all over because that's just what i do i literally drench myself my boyfriend brandon's here you guys know him um do you want to say hi that's good you know you know they know me? they know that i'm bringing ice cream yeah Okay, so we're gonna go get some ice cream. I need to clean my room when I get back. I'll probably talk to you guys a little bit more when I get back. Okay, guys, um, not really an outfit change, but I just put on a hoodie. Um, we went and got ice cream. We went to Cold Stone, and it ended up closing at 9.30 during the week, so we were a little bit too late. So we got some ice cream at the grocery store. I just got haagen chocolate ice cream. It was so good. Um, and I know I said I was gonna like record a little bit more, but honestly, all I'm gonna do for the rest of the night is just like lay in bed and watch Shameless. Hope I don't have chocolate ice cream in my mouth. I don't think I do. But yeah, I'm just gonna lay in bed and watch Shameless. I think I'm going to like put on my air purifier and my humidifier because I've been having allergies lately. So that'll help me a lot. And I'm just gonna relax. So that is the end of my pamper routine. This is what a typical pamper routine looks like for me. It was super relaxing and I'm really happy that I got to do it. I love taking baths. I love giving myself like at home facials. It's just so nice. And I also love using really great shower products, which we all probably know. So with that being said, thank you so much to Deanna. It Okay, you know I glow for sending me those amazing products. She is the best ever. You guys probably all know her from TikTok. She's you know I glow on TikTok. Um, she also has her own business. Her business is amazing. You guys saw all the products that I use from her business today. And I really hope that you guys can go and support her business. Again, all the information will be in the description box down below. I do have a discount code for you guys. So go and check that out as well. And yeah, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.